This is the BBC, with the Daily Minutes podcast. Oh no it isn't. I mean this is the Daily Minutes podcast. This is however not the BBC. So, another Daily Minutes. It has been a while. Well, I uh, notice my voice isn't uh, completely up. Um, yeah, it's been uh, a rocky uh, couple of weeks. More than a couple of weeks, I guess. Um, I've been working on uh, a new version of uh, the Daily Minutes, but there was a lot uh, else to handle as well. Because, um, well, business-wise, uh, something changed. I worked on a design for the product where I, uh, what I'm planning to put on market well, for several years might need at least uh, half a year or longer work, but I've made good uh, progress doing that. And, uh, well, a lot, lot of other things happened as well because uh, part of my uh, business went quite slow, possibly uh, because of uh, developments like uh, chat GPT, I'm not sure. But, uh, well, I uh, had to make some changes because of that. And also, I uh, took advantage of the time to experiment a lot with Jet GPT. If you can't beat them, you surely have to join them. So, uh, it turns out to be quite handy. I know a lot of the limitations now. I also knew before that quite a lot of uh, artificial intelligence. I had become interested in the field as early as 1982 when NASA was working on uh, using neural networks to uh, assess the uh, Landsat images that became usually popular in those days. But those were very high resolution uh, uh, photographs. And I believe at a certain point they had 10,000 people working on analyzing those and they wanted to do that automatically so that uh, when they turned to artificial intelligence as early as uh, the first half of the 80s. And I've looked at expert systems and experimented mainly with uh, self-learning systems, which I think are amazingly uh, interesting and important as well. So right now I know a lot of how... um, because I uh, started reading uh, uh, a lot about uh, the material as well. I know a lot about uh, how ChatGPT and the other usual suspects that have come uh, about uh, how they work, what their limitations are. And well, it's, it's, it's amazing. I um, will probably uh, talk about that later uh, in one of the coming uh, podcasts. But, uh, well, it's amazing. Uh, you can use chat GPT on, uh, yeah, on, 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 <laughs> on, a, on a home level to, uh, correct, uh, language to make, uh, uh spelling and grammatic, uh, perf- almost perfect in, uh, well, perfect in almost any case. If you have a bad text, it's, it's so simple to run it through that on a basis of, one page or half a page at a time. It saves a huge amount of time that way. And ChatGPT is free at the moment. So um, might be uh, that it will cost, but I would be willing to pay uh, for for such a service. It's also amazing how good sense of humor it has. I experimented with that as well. I haven't read that it was able to do so at the at that moment and I really was amazed and also because it made jokes about such a particular field that many people don't know much about which is uh, ham radio uh, and certain parts of that and it came up with some really bad jokes but more than half of it was quite good and several was really spot on if you if you wanted to make a, a text a good text for a stand up comedian, it really does. It really 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 does that, and it does it fairly well. If you make five texts uh, that way, you surely will have a good one that you can work with. You could, could, cannot probably use it uh, instantly. You have to rewrite it a bit, but it's really good. So so that way you can really use that very good and uh, very well and. Um, I'm planning to do that on several things. 
also I made it write uh, samples of parts of the firmware I need for my own product that I'm working on. And it even was able to do that. Uh, and it, as I hear, I didn't test it, but it, look, it looked very good. And I hear from people that it, that it produces, in many cases, software that either works or with only small errors in it, small flaws. So that is quite uh, repairable and uh, fixable. So, well, I'm really amazed by the by the technology. I'm not so much threatened as other people by it, but it is probable probably because it is a lot less abstract to me abstract to me because my history with artificial intelligence uh, reading huge amount of information about it and always wanting to uh, to do something with that uh, again i in in uh, i think it was early 90s i made uh, something that looked a lot but wasn't as clever as uh, uh, Google Translate and DeepL and similar sites. It wasn't on a website. It was a program that I used privately. Well, not privately. I was uh, translating uh, by that time as well. And the early versions ran on an AT computer. So it's with a, an, an 8286. And to... Uh, put that in perspective that were computers that could only run one process at a time so doing neural networks this would be tremendously complicated because you had to run all those uh, separate programs after another and and make some time sharing mechanism for that so that that was not what I did but I uh, made a self-learning kind of expert system and now my cat is distracting me uh, quite a lot but I made made, uh, a uh, self-learning kind of an expert system that uh, analyzed uh, sentences and uh, parts of that and uh, that came up with quite good results uh, after some time but there was a problem Uh, later I ran it on an uh, uh, 8368 system which was able to run uh, uh, concurrent uh, processes but um, Martina be quiet come on this is really annoying. She always does that. She has had a lot of attention from me in the last uh, two hours. It's early morning. And uh, <laughs> now she will start. But um, the problem with uh, with the software was that at, at that moment, at, at an 8368 uh, uh, wasn't a really fast uh, machine compared to uh, current computers. And my hard disk, I had two of them. One was 40 megabyte and the other was 60. And of the 40, I used uh, 18 or 20 megabyte for the operating system and uh, other software. So uh, very soon, uh, well, not even very soon, in, in half a year's time or so, I ran into the problem that because the system got more clever, it had more uh, things that it had to look for each, uh, each request that you did. And by that time, the system became much more slower than translating uh, from uh, from your uh, from f- f- as a human. So, <laughs> so then I, I I was in fact only interested in in have the have a proof of concept, having having it working, and that was all. And I thought, well, I start uh, translating uh, the normal way again. So I put aside the software. I still have it. And all the concepts and how I designed it, but uh, I haven't used it since uh, well, uh, 1994 or 1995. At uh, during that time, so um, I believe I still have the 368 and the 268 computers though somewhere in my f- former uh, uh, working room, which used to, to be an amateur shack before that, before I started my own, my own company. Before starting self-employed is uh, the, the right expression I looked for. But um, I have uh, considered uh, putting that up again, for example, on a website. So it, it learns much pa- faster than when I uh, use it myself alone. But uh, I'm not sure if I do that. I very much dislike programming. So I was very, very glad that uh, ChatGPT could possibly uh, take some of that uh, 
tasks tasks from my hand and it looks like it can but uh, I really don't like programming I no <laughs> that is not how, how I want to spend my life so um yeah but that is what I have been doing and uh, yeah after that uh, there's some time of some some kind of a mini writer's block came over me where I wasn't able to start and uh, that has been going on for a few weeks now and this morning I suddenly uh, got inspiration and I took hold of the microphone and uh, well here I'm sitting uh, talking I have a few deadlines today I'm, I see I'm talking uh, 11 minutes uh, right now I have a few uh, deadlines today and uh, well let's uh, see that I'm not uh, late with that uh, planning is my uh, weakest point uh, by far. But I guess soon you will be hearing from me with uh, uh, some version of what I'm uh, planning to do in the future. And it will be, uh, it will be early tryout. But uh, I think it's still called the Daily Minutes. It's a good name uh, to keep. And I've used that for uh, uh, two projects already so why not give it a twist and have a daily minutes new style as i mentioned earlier earlier i think i did that uh, it will be about uh, popular science which uh, ham radio will be part of but it would will be much wider than uh, only that so uh, well i will start working on my uh, translation work and other things for now and probably publish this later in the day. Title music is by Croatian artist Blasco and is published under Creative Commons. Disclaimer, everything in this podcast, including the accompanying material, as a principle, is basically all fiction, although elements of reality may have been incorporated. For social media, I'm on Mastodon. Just search at P-A-0-E-T-E. Deze uitzending wordt opgedragen aan Jurgen van der Broek, voor altijd de joker van België.